Qué bonito, tío. Sí, es Yo voy a traer un correo electrónico de Transfer Design. Vale. En el que nos proposaven participar en un ¿Ya? workshop. ¡Ey! Vale, tranqui. Vale. Una cosa una mica sorprenent. Porque era trabajar en material reciclado, cartró fundamentalmente, y a las horas posaban como condición que tengas dos por dos por dos metros. Me han aceptado al repta y han vingut aquí a montar un. The way we created this whole idea is we started working with simple geometry. We followed uh, shapes of triangles, uh, shapes of diagonals, just to ensure that we get the most strength out of the least material, hence um, going across with the upcycling idea behind trash boarding. Inicialmente nuestro proyecto venía con unas condiciones un poco más estrictas, más rígidas. Pero bueno, trata de trabajar con más flexibilidad, improvisando, y pensamos que de alguna forma también nos, nos enriquece. ¿no? Sí. I was invited to transporting to reduce waste cardboard. So I choose cardboard tubes. I didn't have any fixed idea for the event. I just prepared a technique of put in a row a lot of cardboard tubes and then drill two holes on each one of them and sew them with the cord. And then you have a kind of flexible material but attached together. We have prepared a temporary habitat out of cardboard to be creatable out of any cardboard you can find. We designed this place to be uh, flat packable in, in any way. The walls, they collapse, the shelf can collapse, the this, this bed can collapse and it will all fit into a small car so you can transport it to wherever you find appropriate. The shelf is, is made to load uh, with, with books or magazines of any quantity. The more there are, the less light will come in and this will have a, a, an effect. We wanted to create something that could be implemented into a public space, an environment such as a coffee shop or a library or even a park. wanted to create something that was a temporary escape, a temporary moment of seclusion, especially for those who live a very fast-paced life. Tubstoreta, que es el nom d'aquest element que hem arribat a dissenyar entre tots. Tubigami. Super cómodo. Es un proyecto que yo creo que la virtud que tiene es la de ser una idea oberta, de ser un elemento que constantemente cambia de forma a petición del usuario y de forma interactiva en él. Una de las cosas que más nos interesaba es que hemos hecho un producto que pasa de, dos pla, de un plan horizontal de dos dimensiones a tres dimensiones. Esto se parte. 
Tubstoreta va ser una idea que ens va emocionar per la senzillesa que tenia en si mateix i alhora la complexitat que podia arribar a tenir en relació amb l'usuari que la utilitzés en aquell moment. At first, I thought to make kind of flexible wool. But when I arrived to trash boarding, there were a lot of different sizes and weight. So I decided to play. I decided to start from zero and play. I hang it with just the cords attached to the roof and then you can adjust and customize the size and the shape. This uh, flexible structure that I made I started to see the versatility that it has. Because it's so simple, you can have a lot of different ways to curve it or to shape it. And I thought that it maybe had good ergonomical properties. So I decided to make a kind of hanged chase long with a chair together. One is the continuation of the other. The main idea that came to my mind was a adjustable multiple seat. A place that you can hang somewhere and then shape it at your, your needing and then use it as a kind of, of sofa or, or place to rest. Cardboard furniture is increasing exponentially there are many people that are playing and experimenting with the cardboard with really good results. The limitations depend only on the design that you choose and the, the imagination of, or ideas of the people making the furniture. Every material has to be studied and then you can find uh, his own language. Uh, 